I'd just like to touch briefly on the late Queen and um, obviously your grandmother. As the eldest grandson, and how, how are you adjusting to life without her? She was such, such a, a, huge, a huge figure. Yeah, I mean, she was, um, she was remarkable in, in so many ways. Um, she was obviously a, um, she was a, a, a figurehead that had been part of everybody's lives for as long as, as, long as people could remember. Um, and for us, she was, um, you know, as having her as a, as, a, as a grandmother and a role model was, um, was unique. And I was, I was lucky to, um, I was lucky to be in, in Scotland um, before she, uh, before she passed, um, and actually having those few days with her, um, just just in in Scotland, just as, as a family, as a quiet, um, um, before she before she left Balmoral, that was that was really nice. That was, um, yeah. Looking back on it, it's still quite emotional that that part because it was a proper family, the family moment. And um, and then obviously once she left by Marlon, it became more of a, um, a, a, a public public grieving. Then it, in in many ways it's sort of we we we'd had our quiet moment with her. We'd said our goodbyes. So um, whilst it was still it still wasn't particularly easy, it was it was easier um, being able to share share the, the the public's grief of from her uh, for her. Sorry, but she. Um, she still both both her and and um, the Duke of Edinburgh still have left a huge imprint on all of our lives, um, and still to this and and they will do for 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 the rest of our lives because um, how they live their lives, how they they taught us to, um, to 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 grow up and behave and this that and the other. They're you know they're. Their fingerprints are left all in, in everything that we do, and it's it's you know change is change is inevitable. Some people don't like it, but at the end of the day, I I you know I think that um, the king has been remarkable in the way that he has handled the the transition, not ripping up the rule book and not ripping up everything that his parents had put in place over the over the previous um, sort of seventy years, but. Um, he has he has kept the core of what they stood for, and have, has put his own um, own mark on it. And I think that's probably um, the greatest testament to to both of them that you know he is he's doing things his way, but very much with a a, a nod to to the way that they always they always did it, and you know, the core of what what they taught us and how they um, and, and what they left us. And that, I, sh I suppose, shows uh, the strength of that connection and the, the understanding of, of the role. And do you think that that is something in relation to both the Queen and the late Duke of Edinburgh that, that made them special, I suppose, not only as uh, the Queen as a regent, but also as grandparents and parents that passing down? Yes, I, I mean, I think, um, you know, when when you're lucky enough to have your grandparents around for a significant part of your life, you um, th there there is a greater connection with anybody's grandparents and a greater respect and a greater ability to be able to learn from them, um, being able to sit with them and talk about different parts of you know their lives and which in our case was fascinating because it was different part of was part of history. Um, and such a, um, a transient part of history as well. Um, that, you know, they, they will, that, those times talking to them and sitting with them and uh, listening to them is, is you know, it's is, is very difficult for it not to have a significant impact on you. Yeah, absolutely. Now, I just want to briefly touch on the Princess of Wales about her health, that there is a very private and family matter, but on the wider, um, matter of uh, public support that must be very heartening for the family more broadly no 100 percent and i think for for her and for the uh, and for the king the the outpouring of, of, of support for both of them and well wishes for the, both of them to 
to recover um, quickly has been um, has been hugely heartening. Um, she is a um, she's remarkable in herself. She's um, you know without without any question she is um, you know her and William make a fantastic team together. Um, the kids are their kids are great and and they have a they have the balance of of public life and trying to be parents to to three young children which is is always difficult um and i think they have they have they've they've got it pretty right because you know i think as um history has taught us and anyone knows that you know actually you want to be there for your children when they are um, where of a certain age you want to be able to go and drop them off at school and pick them up from school and go and watch matches and be part of their their school lives and you know and I think that balance of doing the family life and and also the public life you know I think they they're, they're they've, they've pretty much got that that bang on and I suppose when you are in the public eye all the time that that is a challenge in itself those family moments and those quiet times and and even when the 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 broader family gets together uh, that must be such an incredibly important part uh, it is um completely and and we're, we're very lucky that um you know whilst we probably don't see as much of each other as we, we would like to as you say when we are together it is it's a very um it's, it's a very important time and it's not just you know it's not just for us as cousins but it's also for all of our children to be together it was you know when my grandparents were alive it's about them being able to spend time with their great grandchildren, um, and so you know these these times are important. And you know, as certainly you know, when you look at it from my grandparents' perspective, the older they got, the more time you made for to be able to go and see them and allow your their great grandchildren to spend time with them because you know it's a pretty unique, uh, pretty unique situation that that any child can spend time with their great great grandparents so you know family time together is 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 so important um and it just strengthens that strengthens that bond of of support that everybody needs and um and certainly in 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 tough times is really important well look we wish uh the princess of wales and, and the king to a speedy recovery and we hope very much that you enjoy the rest of your trip to australia and that you're back soon and peter thank you so much for your time with us today Thank you.